Mike Stanton. This is a BAM Credit Insights video on the city of Cape Coral, Florida, which is selling approximately $159 million of bonds for its utility system. I'm here with Greg Pacifico, Managing Vice President of BAM's East Region Public Finance Department, who underwrote the transaction for our risk people. Greg, thanks for taking some time to talk about it. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Uh, this transaction is uh, relatively large. Um, it has underlying ratings of A from S&P Global Ratings, A2 from Moody's Investor Service. Of course, it will carry BAM's AA stable rating from S&P when it comes to market. Uh, it's being priced by Morgan Stanley. It's a little bit of an interesting security for a utility transaction. It's not solely based on utility revenues. So let's start there. What can you tell us about the security for the transaction and, and how did that feed into your analysis? Sure. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, the uh, the proceeds are going to be used to expand the city's uh, utility system to an existing residential area within the city. So the bonds are going to be secured by assessments that are imposed uh, on those properties. And those assessments carry a lien on property that's equal to property taxes. So that's a really important security structure with respect to the bonds. In addition to that, um, there's a subordinate pledge on the city's utility net revenues. Um, so that's an additional security that's securing the bonds. So given that uh, given that context, how did it drive your credit analysis? What did you look at? Yeah, so you know our first approach is on the assessments, you know, given that it's a existing residential development, that's obviously a huge fact. The fact that there's uh, a lien against the property, that's a great fact as well. Um, we also put a lot of weight into that subordinate pledge on the net revenues of the utility system. So we took a close look at the city's operations from a utility perspective, understood their coverage ratios and how this debt is incorporated into the other various legal covenants of the transaction, such as their ABT, their rate covenant, and things like that. And they've already made some steps to plan for the future, right? They've, they've adopted uh, uh, rate increases, and, and do you expect there to be more? They have, yeah. They've they've managed rates very well. They've been active with it. Um, they had a rate study that was done a couple of years ago, and they've been following that. They do anticipate additional increases um, to support uh, their capital program. The good thing is their rates are reasonable, they're affordable, and they should be able to adopt those rates um, without issue. And just to give some sense of the scale, it's a, so Cape Coral is now over 200,000 people just uh, passed that in the last couple of years. It's a growing community. It's right on the Gulf Coast, which means uh, uh, cre uh, the credit risk analysis has to take a look at catastrophe risk, right? It's, it's exposed to hurricanes. What did you find on that front? Yeah, absolutely. So we use a few different tools when we're, when we're trying to assess uh, potential hurricane risk. One, for example, is the FEMA's National Risk Index. And then we also use some private data sources as well. And we're really trying to quantify what we feel is the potential risk for damage and ultimately uh, the city's ability to, to repay uh, the bonds. So we take a look at those um, sources and then we put together some stress tests. So we, we try to see what could the city um, withstand in terms of impact and still be in a position where they can support the bonds. So we ran several stress tests to kind of understand that, see what the impact was on rates to support debt and things like that. And then most importantly, we obviously have to look at real life examples and the city was obviously hit pretty hard by Hurricane Ian in 2022. So we tried to understand what the impact was there um, for the city itself. It you know resulted in roughly $100 million in, in cleanup costs for the most part. A lot of that, most of that's going to be reimbursed by FEMA. Um, and then we also took a close look at, at uh, utility operations throughout that period and utility damage from the storm. Um, and damage was was pretty minimal, and I think that's a testament to the the city's preparation for potential events like that. And in terms of utilization, um, you know, there were no material impacts to their ability to support their outstanding debt. Um, and even in in the aftermath of the storm, we continue population uh, growth, which is a great fact for the the net revenues of the utility system. Great, great. This was really helpful. Uh, thanks for your time, and uh, have a great weekend. Yeah, thanks, Mike.